Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're taking a, taking a look at a device that really is budget conscious for the gamer in mind. Now, we've seen budget phones that are really good for a certain task, but this phone from Blue, the G90 Pro, is aimed at us as gamers. Now, when we look at this device, look at the packaging, one of the things you see at the back, it says uh, Fortnite compatible because of what is built in there. But before we get to some of that gaming, let's look at some of the features of the device itself. Now, the G90 Pro has a 6.5 inch uh, display, full HD, it's got a little dimple notch. It's a little lovely looking display altogether. Uh, in terms of internal storage, you're looking at 128 gigabytes, expandable but up to 128 as well. And it's got four gigs of RAM, so you're going, how does that come into play to gaming? Well, we'll, we'll see that in a second. Uh, now you've got a triple camera way at the back. You've got a 48 megapixel sensor, eight megapixel ultra wide, and you've got like a depth sensor as well. I've got a 32 megapixel uh, front facing uh, camera. Now, what's really cool about this, this comes with a massive battery. So for gaming, that's really essential, a 5,100 milliamp battery, but it's not, doesn't have slow charging. It's got an 18 watt, fast charger, which will charge about 45, 50% uh, in 45 minutes, which is not bad, which is actually pretty good. Plus you've also got a 10 watt wireless charging as well. So that is, it's pretty cool. I like that. Again, this is a budget device. It's, it's, it's gonna be 199, right? That's actually pretty cool. Now, this is all powered by the brand new MediaTek G90T processor. Now, what's interesting about this processor, it's got, it's got a new GPU, the, the G76 GPU, which should enhance gaming performance as well. So, you know, games like Fortnite, PUBG should run better, especially when you're looking at something at this price point. And that's really important because yes, we love to play these games and we want to play them as smooth as possible. Now that G90T processor also supports supports, of course, uh, higher megapixel cameras, uh, sensors. So we've got the 48 megapixel, the g 90 goes up to about 64 megapixels. So you're thinking, okay, Thunder E, that's great, right? That's cool. What about the games? Like how well do they actually play games? And that's what we want to see in this video, because if you don't have a lot of money to spend, but you want to do some really cool gaming, Let's check out some gameplay. We're going to look at, of course, uh, the settings, uh, for each game. So we're just playing Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile and Fortnite because it says it's compatible. And then we'll also look at uh, gameplay. So let's jump in and take a look. So the first thing you notice is that they all ran smooth. That is the key thing there. 
Now, Call of Duty Mobile is one that runs really well in almost any settings for most processors, and it ran well here. Uh, when we move over to PUBG Mobile, we're able to run at smooth on the highest settings possible. Now, we couldn't do extreme on HDR because again, this device doesn't support HDR display, but at those settings, it was key to see that it ran well at those, and that was really important. Now we move over to Fortnite, it ran at max for most phones, you know, 30 FPS, uh, high settings, uh, which is something you see for even a lot of high-end phones. So I was actually impressed and surprised with that. So the G90 Pro does that well, plus the G90T Helios processor for MediaTek does that well. I know they have the same naming, right? It's a little bit tricky, but uh, that's that. To me, that was actually cool to see. Now, the other thing is temperatures, right? So we measured our temperatures, we got about 98 degrees uh, in terms of temps, and we also got, which is about 36 degrees Celsius, uh, in case you guys are wondering, which to me is actually good, especially with no special cooling, there's no cooling vapors, and it's even slightly cooler than, you know, some high-end devices, I won't mention any names, but you guys can take a look at some more other videos to see how it, it fares. So in terms of cooling, that's also solid. Now, it's got a, uh, a mono speaker, which is, is a bummer, which it did have, of course, uh, stereo speakers, but it does have a headphone jack, something that is missing and you can use. And it does come with a bunch of accessories. So you've got uh, headphones in there to use as well, uh, as well as also a case. Now that case is gamer centric and you can see the look of the case, it's got nice grip. So when you're gaming with it, it's actually pretty good. It's good to hold and feel. It also has like trigger uh, holds at the top, which I wished it did something, but it's more of a design than anything else. Uh, now, when it comes to those cameras, the cameras are actually decent. Uh, you can record a video in 4K, which is a bit choppy, uh, but again, still gives you decent quality. Uh, photos came out really well in daytime. Uh, nighttime photography was also decent, depending on your lighting situation, especially low light mode. But the AI mode, uh, when low light settings or lower settings, actually showcase some really nice photos as well. So I liked what the camera did. Again, it's not a camera powerhouse, but it's a huge improvement, especially when you're looking at this price point. I think overall, when you're looking at the Blue G90 Pro, you're gonna get a device that really gives you the gaming performance for a lot of games. I think it will run those games well. Now, in terms of game settings, it does have uh, a few features like a game center hub, which doesn't really do much. Uh, and it does have screen recording, which records lower than 720. So I was a bit bummed out about that. I would like to see improvements there. I want to see better screen recording. Granted, you can use a third-party app as well, but I want to see some, some way to monitor my game stats. So like FPS monitoring, as well as also uh, me just seeing temperatures on screen. Those kind of things will really aid into, of course, that gaming experience. But just simply picking up the device to game, thumbs up. So if you're looking to pick this up, let me know. Uh, also, as I mentioned, you know, the title says it's like 199. Uh, the device actually is priced at 249, but there is a sale going on for it, so you can get it cheaper. And I think it's definitely worth it at 199. So take a look at the link down below uh, and try and pick this up. I think if you're looking to spend uh, around that uh, that price point, you're definitely going to love the G, uh, the Blue G90 Pro. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and. Always enjoy your entertainment.